Welcome back YouTube. This is Dave Lucas with Injection Molding Skills and more. Today's video we're going to go over part two of the answers to the process tech compensation competency test. I think that's how you say it. I, I'm, I hate that word really. So without further ado let's get started on this. So we started off with number 16. We're going through 16 through 26 okay. And a lot of these will have multiple questions or multiple answers to them, so just follow along, okay? And then I'll try to put the answer above me or to the side of me or whatever, okay? So the first one is what are three items that cause flash? Okay? The answers are melt flow, injection pressure, heat, loss clamp pressure or tonnage, speeds. Of injection are too fast or too much material <laughs> okay number 17 what are three ways to get rid of burns and this is kind of like leading back to a question we had earlier <clears throat> the answers are mold cleaning mold vents slowing down injection speed going down on the clamp tonnage or cutting new vents in the tool okay number 18 what is the main item to check before starting up a press or starting a press up okay so <clears throat> there's a lot of different things you need to really check okay so you're going to check your barrel heats. You're going to check to make sure you got mold protect set correctly. You're going to have uh, the setup sheet and process sheet with you. Material and water are checked to make sure you're running the right material and the right and the water's turned on correctly and is hooked up correctly before you ever start to press up. So more or less double checking everything prior to starting up the machine. Okay, that is your answer for number 18. Number 19, what two things does excessive injection pressure do? Okay, so what they're looking for is, the answers are flashes out the parting line on the part and it changes the dimensions of the part. So if you have too much excessive pressure, you can change the dimensions of the part itself. Okay. <clears throat> number 20 why do you have more than one injection pressure okay so now this is kind of like a trick question is how I looked at it on some of the older presses you only have two stage they're on timers so you have what they call first stage or fill and then you have second stage or hold or pack that's your two timers on older presses. But your newer presses that came out now have multiple things. So you might have five stages of injection and five stages of hold or pack, however you want to call it. But they do that so you can fill apart a little differently. Like you can go slow starting out, then speed up, then go slow again before switch over. Same thing with hold. You can have multiple positions on hold that's what they're asking for there. Why do you have it is because of, you know, the differences of a part. Some parts are huge and big. You might have to feel slow to start out, then go faster to get into it. Um, so that's the answers for, pre for number 20. <laughs> number 21. If purged material is lumpy, it is what? Okay, so the answer is it's cold. So not enough heat to, to melt the material and it's lumpy. That's, that's what will happen. It'll come out and you'll actually see the pellets not even being melted down all the way. And you'll see it like burst out of the barrel, out of the front of the nozzle, like clumping real bad. So that's the answer. Cold, not heated enough to melt it, okay? Number 22, what purged material if purged material spits and sprays, it is what? 
everybody should know this one tells you that the either the material is wet or it's contaminated with another type of material that's the only two answers you could have uh, most of the time sometimes if you let it sit under heat for too long of a period it, it gets contaminated more or less or it's degraded um, but the majority of the time if you're running like a nylon like an st801 nylon most of the time if it's not dry enough you'll have it spitting and spraying and doing all kinds of stuff so that is the answers okay wet or contaminated number 23 what is projected area meaning in molding okay so <clears throat> how i took this one was projected area is the area of the part okay so it's the the part dimensions for tonnage that's projected area so you take whatever that area is and you measure the length by the width by the depth if it's less than one inch then you don't have to worry about the depth but then you take all that and you add it all up and that'll tell you how many square inches per for for your tonnage that you're going to need okay like polypropylene would be two tons per square inch if you're running a, a harder type of material then it's going to be a little higher because you don't want to push the mold open okay so the answer of that is the part dimensions for tonnage number 24 what key item determines cooling time okay what key item okay so the answer that they have on here is the type of material and the cooling rate okay so most of the time when you get a manufacturer's material they'll tell you what the cooling rate would be on that material and what they recommend um, and then it depends on you too as far as what water flow you've got going through your molds and what water temperature you're running it at okay so number 25 what helps to cool the plastic in the mold? That's the easy one. So water going through the mold is what actually helps cool the mold. So you might have straight water lines that go through. They might be jumped on the other side. You might have baffles that run in. It depends. You might run one side hot. You might run the other side cold. Um, it just depends. Whatever it takes to get the part cooled down from being Let's say it runs a ST801, you're running 500 degree melt temperatures or higher, and you're trying to get it colder to where you can get it to come out of the mold a lot easier. Um, so the thing is, is water going through the mold to help cool it. Okay, number 26. What, what are three main reasons for short shots? Okay, now, like I said, there's a bunch of different ones, so mold not clean uh the vents not cleaned um loss of material into the part so you could be running out of material or you could have um getting a hog head at the very tip of the the nozzle um if you're using a um, sprue brake or anything like that um, pressure loss somewhere um and then just variances on there so that's that's the answers that they give me was mold not clean vents loss of material into the part loss of uh, pressure loss somewhere nozzle leaking uh feed to barrel not picked up material okay so <clears throat> i hope this helps you guys out um with the the lesson um and what i'll do is i'll try to get the next thing set up somebody wants me to go through like the basic steps of setting up a mold and going through the basics of it i don't know if i've done a video on that yet or not i'll have to go back and look and see if i have or not then i had i thought i had somebody else wanted me to do some injection speeds or something like that i'm not 100 percent sure what what they're asking so i'm gonna have to go back and double check that but the next videos that will come up will be going over those okay unless you guys want me to do a troubleshooting video to show you how to solve an issue that you are having um, with your molding or whatever you're working on okay out there um, again I've been trying to do a video like every 10 days I need to try to get better at that and try to make them 
like on a regular basis, like once a week would be a lot easier for everybody out there. So I know I'm rambling on, but I just want to make sure you guys all understand that I am trying to help you guys out and it helps me out because some of the feedback that I get, there's some things on there that I've never known that you guys give me back. So molding is a huge industry, but you run into people all the time that you've met over the years at different companies and stuff. So just, uh, I appreciate all the support to the channel. I appreciate it very much. Um, please like, share, and su subscribe. It helps out the channel grow to where other people see it. So please stay tuned for the next video. Until next time, peace.